brake lights for miles. If you travel along Interstate 70, this is what you'll have to deal with tonight if you make your way out onto the roadway. As you can see from the backups here, it's been tied up like this since 1 o'clock this afternoon. Crashes, a variety of things have really contributed to the backup here in Ohio County. There's also a number of issues in Marshall and Wetzel County today. We spoke with West Virginia DOH and DOT about the problems they've been facing here in the northern panhandle. What happens oftentimes is cars get stuck, trucks think they can pull a hill when they can't. Uh, you get a jackknife, you get a car in the middle of the road, and everything stops. We don't have the, uh, the magic uh, powers to, uh, to go around traffic um, and, and, uh, and then clear the roads. We are part of that traffic at that point. Now, we've also spoken with Sheriff Pat Butler. He tells us a variety of issues are leading to this slowdown, despite the fact that Interstate 70 has now officially been reopened. It's down to one lane in the westbound direction from the Pennsylvania state line to the highlands. If you're headed eastbound, it's just slow in general because of slick and icy conditions caused by that more than four-hour shutdown of the roadway. So, of course, if you are heading out tonight, it's probably in your best interest to avoid Interstate 70 all together. Of course, we'll have more updates for you as the night progresses, and we'll keep you updated on the situation out here on Interstate 70. In Ohio County, I'm Ryan Eldridge for News 9.